Hello everyone. Welcome to ITPK. In today's video, we will learn about Intune Scope Tag and we will learn how to create and manage Scope Tag in Microsoft Intune. Scope Tag can be applied on different objects in Azure and Intune. For example, we can assign a tag to Windows 10 device. The tag is our unique identifier which we use to link our scope. The object could have multiple scope tags and scope tags could have multiple link with it. When we create and tune policies and after we create a scope tags, then we can link those scope tags to the profiles. Scope tags are used to assign and filter policies to different groups. For example, our help desk group, our marketing team, or the finance team. We can also define scope tag for the admin to provide right level of access to Intune resources. For example, what they can access or what they can see and they can perform. For your understanding, we will combine role-based access control and scope tag. Role-based access control define that what level of access an admin could have or our help desk operator could have. And scope tag define the visibility of object that admin can see. Scope tag is one of the component in role-based access control. I will not cover role-based access control in this video but i have a separate video for role based access control in intune and i will add that link to this video description we can use role based access control and scope tags to define that which access admin will have and what object visibility admin will be able to see for example we say that the it helpers team have access to policy and profile manager role and we want this IT helpers team or IT helpers admin to manage only the profile and policies related to front office devices or the profile or policies that only applies to front office devices. To set up this first we have create a scope tag for front office and then create a role assignment for policies and profile manager role. Create a date or assign scope that your account must have global administrator permission or Intune service administrator permissions. I have logged into Intune admin center via this URL intune.microsoft.com. So once you are in Intune admin center, go to tenant administration, roles, and then go to scope tags. You are seeing default scope tag here that will be automatically assigned all objects in the Intune. Every object in Intune needs to have at least one scope tag assigned. So let's go ahead and create our scope tag here. Let's go to create. Here let's name it as we are targeting here front office as a, and let's set the description all the devices from front office will be assigned this scope tag okay there are two ways to assign scope tags in Dune. you can assign that manually and also you can assign that automatically in this video we will see both options for the scope tag assignments the assignment page choose the group that contains all the front office devices you want to assign this scope tag this will automatically assign this front office scope all the members of the group that are in front office devices let's go ahead and select the group we have created office devices here you go select hit next and now review the settings and we have front office scope tag here we have added front office devices group here and here is the description let's hit create it's creating a scope tag it's in progress so the scope tag is successfully created and assigned and we can see front of tag here in our list now this will take some time to assign the scope tag to Intune resources or Intune object. 
So now the front office scope pack must get assigned to the member of front office devices and let's verify that by going to groups then we have to find out here front office group in the front office devices group we have members here let's see yeah we have this member here desktop handling with vfa so let's verify that if scope tech is assigned this device or no let's go to devices again all devices we need this device desktop let's open this let's go to properties in the property section if you see here one scope x selected let's open this for verification and see front of his scope tag is successfully assigned to this device now as this device is the member of front office devices and link with the scope tag front office so here is a, another point that we can manually assign scope tags devices so let me show you quickly let's go to devices then go to all devices and let's select any other desktop uh, from here yeah this one and then go to property sections and in the scope tag hit open and you can remove scope tags from here and you can assign from front of the scope tag to this device as well and hit save so this is how we can manually assign scope tag to Intune object. Remember, auto scope tags requirements overwrite the manually assigned scope tags. If a device is assigned multiple scope tag group assignment, then all scope tag will be applied. Once you have created one or more scope tag, you can then to device configuration or device compliance policy let's add our front office created to our configuration profile so let's go to devices and then go to configurations let's edit in the first policy here and in the assignment section let's add the group front office devices save and in the scope tag option let's scroll down and go to edit scope tag and you can see the tag is already there let's select the scope tag front office let's select this flow scope tag review and save this setting here Scope tag is the way to tag a resource. Once tagged, we can define which admin can see or perform actions on that specific resource or the object in Intune. This is done by assigning the scope tag to a scope. Add that scope to a role and assign that role to Azure Active Directory group. So this is how we can create scope tag in Intune and how we can do automatic assignment and manual assignment of the scope tag. We have also seen the steps to add scope tags to the configuration. So we have learned how to create and manage scope tag in Microsoft Intune using Microsoft Intune Endpoint Manager. Thank you for watching. Keep watching for more informational stuff and don't forget to subscribe ITPK. Take care. Bye.